so it looks like Terra is bringing the entire crypto market or at least the entire stablecoin market along with it down into the depths of the bearish market guys this is not good for any stablecoin holders what is up guys welcome back to your daily source of news and all things crypto and make sure you stay till the end for my terra luna price prediction in today's news terra is sitting at three zeros fifteen ninety six down almost 7% for the past 24 hours following a pretty significant price hike. So going back to the news here, it looks like Terra is bringing the entire stablecoin market along with it guys. No stablecoin safe at this point and it looks like Nier is the next stablecoin on the chopping block. So is Nier at risk of suffering the same death spiral fate as Luna. So the Luna and USD crash have shifted the spotlight on other crypto projects running decentralized stablecoins such as Nier's USN. The, uh, the latter is among the fastest growing blockchain networks. However, a lot of investors seem to be questioning if that growth trajectory would suffer the same fate as Terra. Let's evaluate the differences and similarities between the two block blockchain projects. Both projects are similar in that they have to balance the peg through the stablecoin supply. They also use their blockchain's native cryptocurrency to mint their stablecoin, while Terra used a mint and burn mechanism. Near uses a treasury to maintain the, the dollar peg. So is Nier's approach safer? Nier is locked into the treasury to mint USN and unlocked when the USN is burnt. It is also worth noting that Nier has a fixed supply and this is one of the solutions deployed to avoid an oversupply that can feed into a death sp spiral. Nier also goes a step further uh, by assuring that the tre treasury treasury is over collateralized and backed by Nier and USDT. This is ensured through a REF finance pool as well as pools on centralized exchanges. So is there any risk to Nier's approach? Although Nier's USN approach seems to be safer than that of Terra's USD, it is still not as secure as centralized stablecoins that are backed by fiat. USN has lately demonstrated significant volatility but still manages to regain its peg. There are also fears that the USDT is a part of the over collateralization mechanism. There lies a looming possibility that the USDT DPEG would likely destabilize USN's peg. Near peaked at $20.59 in January 2022, but the bearish market conditions have resulted in a significant discount in the last few months. It traded at $5.87 at the time of writing, and at the time of writing, it was about to form a death cross, suggesting more potential downside. At, uh, a look at its price action reveals that the total supply of near held by whales has been on the decline for the, for the last 30 days. However, it shows signs of a whale accumulation in the last three days, suggesting that near might be about to experience more upside. Uh, so, as far as its long-term performance is concerned, near may not be at risk of a death spiral, and it has also expanded its offerings into the metaverse and NFTs. So going back to the Terra chart here, Terra has seen, been seeing a lot of volatility throughout the past few days uh, and many people were trying to cash in on that volatility though in my opinion it's just a bit too volatile. Sometimes you have mere hours to cash in uh, on the next peak and I don't think the risk is worth it. As for other stable coins I would say stay away from them all guys they are all about to crash and burn following Terra's uh, demise. I think Terra is gonna pull all of them down and I don't think any of them is worth investing in. So that is it for today's news. Come back tomorrow.